everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update this morning. I trust and hope that you're doing fantastic and we're going to be talking about these two systems here. We've been talking about them for some time now, Philippe and 91L. So uh, by the next day or so, potentially even by later today, 91L could become our next tropical cyclone, maybe a tropical depression or a tropical storm, but we know the next name. Rena. So that is the name that the system is going to acquire and we'll talk more about it as it relates to the potential track of it and intensity later down in this video. But Philippe is likely to bring impacts to parts of the Caribbean, likely not as an organized tropical cyclone. So it is struggling out there and uh, will further weaken and is expected to dissipate. But models show something pretty interesting down the road. We'll take a look at that in this video. Now let's go on to the satellite imagery and here we can see both of these systems. Uh, 91L is actually getting better organized out there even though that might not be quite prominent on the infrared satellite imagery. So with the visible satellite imagery we would see that even better and even a better depiction of just how lopsided Philippe is and uh, it is struggling out there as I said there's that shear taking its toll. It's been taking its toll on the system and that is why from the moment it developed I mentioned the fact that it will be in survival mode because of the wind shear. Let's drift into the Caribbean and see what is going on and there we go lots of showers and thunderstorms across sections of the lesser antilles going from around guadeloupe through dominica martinique saint lucia even for saint vincent and the grenadines so you can let me know what's been happening in your area this isn't widespread for all of the islands but some islands have uh, have likely been experienced in some inclement weather this morning and even near saint croix there's some thunderstorm activity there and in the northeastern islands there it has been pretty dry there's that need for rainfall increase and fortunately Philippe is likely going to be helping out with that but the uh, magnitude of impacts will all be dependent on how strong it is at the time as I said we'll talk more about it soon but then over in the Western Caribbean there we can see that it is still pretty messy with all that moisture and instability inducing all those showers and thunderstorms that we see likely impacting the Cayman Islands this morning even going up to Cuba, Florida, the Bahamas and over in Central America and so now we want to go ahead and talk about our system so we're kickstarting things with 91L so as we can see that formation chance is still at a high 90% through the next seven days and through the next two days it is also at a high 90% so this is likely to become our next tropical cyclone as soon as later today or tomorrow as I said some models are expecting that it will become a hurricane some show eventually a major hurricane out there not impossible once the conditions are conducive and uh, let's now go ahead and talk about Philippe so here we have the tropical storm that is struggling out there with all that wind shear and uh, let's go on to the cone forecast so here we can see that it is expected to remain a tropical storm through to Friday but then as we head into this weekend we can see that it is expected to be downgraded to a depression and then eventually lose those tropical cyclone characteristics becoming a post tropical cyclone and uh, notice how much the cone widens so that is indicating that hey there is still some uncertainty down the road it doesn't have to follow through with the track that we currently see so the center can pass anywhere within this zone but there is some decent consistency and those trends on impacts in the northeastern islands of the Caribbean all right, now let us go ahead and move on to what our models have to show. So we're going to be looking at uh, various points within these model runs here to show when impacts are expected across the Caribbean islands. So let us go ahead and kickstart things with GFS. Head into Sunday, the 1st of October. That's what's left off Philly. Behind it is what will become Rena. Euro. So this is as we head to Friday of this week uh, when those remnants are expected to be nearing the Leeward Islands. There you can see not a whole lot of of activity in association with it and we're not seeing those black squiggly lines being tightly packed in that circular manner so definitely not a tropical storm at this point but eventually uh, Euro wants to show that it is going to be loitering around the Caribbean there we see all that moisture increase those colors those greens yellows oranges are indicative of the average precipitation rate and then eventually uh, going on to the Canadian model now Canadian is the only model of uh, these that we're looking at showing that this is going to to be approaching as a tropical storm here so I doubt it's going to be a tropical storm but uh, impacts any impacts in terms of the heavy rainfall potential strong winds it's all going to be dependent on how strong the system is at the time but it seems as though it will continue to weaken because it is in a sheared environment 
not seen a whole lot happening for what is to become arena but eventually canadian wants to show the system intensifying moving out and absorbing whatever is left of it and also the canadian model is showing that by the end of uh next week we could see something in the caribbean it has been very consistent about this and this is a similar origin point to that of idalia several weeks ago and canadian was picking up on idalia from more than a week before it even formed and here we see this consistency on this next potential system in the western caribbean so very interesting here we'll definitely have to pay attention to the basin as we head into the next couple of weeks icon as we head to saturday the 30th of the month is showing the remnants of philippe moving into the northeastern isles that's what uh, will become arena not seeing much happening with it at the time but then icon is showing some sort of reintensification there we see some of those brighter colors indicative of uh, some more rainfall activity so that is pretty interesting there and uh, there you can see it most of these models here are showing a weakened system a significantly weakened system impacting the Leeward Islands and this would be some good news because again the islands are in need of that rainfall there hasn't been anything substantial and uh, hopefully this is going to be that uh, relief that rainfall relief but at the same time should it be stronger than expected it could bring with it those adverse effects the flooding the mudslides the landslides so hopefully that will not be the case and a weakened unclassified system is going to be making its way through the area now as it relates to the potential intensity of it there we can see the uh, the model intensity guidance and most of these models are showing that philippe will gradually weaken and uh somewhat re-intensify over the coming days so pretty interesting here now talking about 91l so as it relates to the potential intensity of that system here here we can see that all models are expecting this to be a tropical storm status within the next 24 hours so by tomorrow morning and uh eventually strengthening so some of these models want to take the system up to a hurricane and that is not impossible once the environmental conditions are conducive now let's briefly look at conditions out there so across the caribbean and uh, even surrounding areas out there in the atlantic and the gulf of course we can see that the waters are very warm to support development so for something forming in the western caribbean there are above average temperatures to support development let's go on to the uh map here of the shear so where we see those red lines that is indicating the unfavorable shear those strong upper level winds displacing that activity and preventing much intensification so it might be a bit difficult to see but there we have philly there you can see some of those red lines indicating that unfavorable wind shear finally going on to the dry air map so in the areas of more of those yellows oranges or reds that is indicating denser quantities of dry air out in the environment in this is unfavorable this helps to prevent intensification and induce weakening once ingested in these systems and there we can see philippe and look up ahead of it dry air so that dry air intrusion coupled with the shear is not going to do the system any good so that is what is going to be helping to induce that weakening but then as for 91l that is not going to be much of an issue for the system so that is pretty much it for this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i can and remember to always be weatherwise